Oh, but you know what I mean. Yeah, but look at these character designs. They're actually pretty damn good. I like them. Yeah. Yeah. It's all the theme of Persona 5. Although it's a gotcha game. And we have the owl as the new character, as the new mascot. Ooh. Yeah. Is that funny how people are saying that they want to do a Persona game? Like, you know how each color... Yeah, like they're saying it's gonna be game. green. I hope it's green. I wonder why. Yeah. That's wonder. But yeah, some of the designs are great. There's Igor, my man. He's got a nose. He's always got a nose. I never watched this one. I love this design for Wonder right here. It's fine. And this music is always wonderful. There's Joker. The boy. The man. The myth. The legend. Kim. I don't know. I don't understand the lore, so I'm just I can't explain Persona lore 2 in a minute. I just more so I'm like, wait, so are these like same people, same world, and it they just It might got be. There are par there's a few parallel universes in Persona. But the main thought of Persona yeah. is it originally starts this way. Between a bet between two gods. Philomon and... Yeah, of course it is. And Neolithotep, the Crawling Chaos. Which is actually oh. in Cthulhu lore. Dude, I would fucking hate if we just saw a fucking god crawling on all fours, just like a fucking gremlin just running from, up to you. From what that... I know, uh, from what I know, Neolithotep is the trickster of the Outer Gods, and he also likes to screw with everyone. From he likes to do a little trolling. And he... From what I remember, he the only one he's afraid of is the blind idiot god. Uh, I don't know. Who, who's the ruler wow. of the outer gods? But yeah, uh, it starts with a bet. Originally, Philemon believes that humanity will one day transcend and overcome and basically become something new and beautiful and along those lines. Neolithotep believes humanity will destroy itself due to its own hubris. So, in order to get this little bet started, Neolithotep cheats. He cheats hard. So, yeah, he kind of creates Persona users. I don't really remember exactly what else he creates. But in order to counter that, Phil Philemon creates the Velvet Room. Like, do, you, do any of you remember that blue, that blue butterfly you sometimes see in Persona games? You see him at least once yeah. in every game. That's Philemon. I've never seen or played any of them. But yeah, the blue butterfly is Philemon. The creator of the Velvet Room. Originally, the Velvet Room was much bigger with a many more attendants, but yeah. One main I theme of... Why. I don't like Red Velvet. It's not Red Velvet. The, Everything... The Wait. No, but it's, it, it reminded me you, of it. Wait, Red Velvet is in, like, the cake or, like... Mm. Uh, yeah, I don't like Red know. Velvet. K-pop yeah. star. That's a I know, I like that Red Velvet. But I you, was gonna say, because I like that Red Velvet. I, was, that red I will velvet. tell you guys this, though. Uh, damn it, where was I? Uh, but yeah. Jeez, that's it. In order to counter him, Philemon created the Velvet Room, which uh, helps humans basically defeat whatever Neolithotep unleashes. So every once in a while, Neo, uh, Neolithotep will awaken an old god, as you can probably see in the later games, which will kind of start a cycle where they'll try to destroy humanity while Philemon's Velvet Room will help the humans defeat them. Also, each and every Velvet Room attendant is named after a character in Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. For some reason. I don't know any of that. I don't know. It's the, it's the original story of Frankenstein. Or Dr. Frankenstein. Okay, good for you. Anyway, thank you all so much, and we'll see you, I guess, in a bit.